Hey you guys, good morning or good afternoon, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I, today I'm going to be testing the new ColourPop foundation. Um, this I ordered a little while ago, obviously, and now it's here. Um, so I have the No Filter foundation by ColourPop. I got it in shade Light 60, which hopefully is my color because that's the only shade I bought. Um, this foundation is supposed to be a matte full coverage foundation, and it was... how much was it? 2,000 years later. Okay, so this foundation is $12. I also got their new setting powder. This also just came out, and this was $9. This is the No Filter Loose Setting Powder. And then I also got the concealer, No Filter Concealer, which is not new, but everybody talks about it, and I've never tried it, so... I also got this Super Shock Shadow that is on my eyelids, which is like a really unique consistency. It's like wet when you touch it, but kind of powdery. It's super beautiful on the lids, as you can see, although they're kind of uneven. Um, and then I got a little lippy too. And I got the foundation, I guess, early enough to their like release date that they had this promo going on where I got a free brush. I don't normally like like spatula-esque brushes like this, but we'll try it out. I need my beauty blender too though, because I know that's not going to work for me. So I prime my face as usual with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer. I love this stuff. It's $5. Works better than most of my expensive ones. I, it's a go for me. Alright, and now it's been sitting on my face for a little bit, so we're just going to go in with the foundation. Oh, this is a cute little bottle with the stars and stuff all over it. I like that. It's a glass bottle. It's a pump, so that's cool. Um, so let's just give this a go. Okay, it comes out a little watery. Should we try and put it on with the spatula? Oh, that's like a perfect shade. Um, I'm in the middle of this weird drama triangle at work right now, and it's making me highly uncomfortable. Um, I... <laughs> have this really bad habit of gossiping um, and it pretty much always bites me in the ass and I continue to do this kind of burns like on my under eye especially a little light for my skin so hopefully it oxidizes a little I'm gonna grab my mirror okay a little light but I mean I think this is probably the closest oh see where my background ends I think this is probably the closest they would have to my shade it's pretty close so I think I'm just used to like I normally go a little darker than my skin tone as opposed to a little lighter because I feel like my skin tone is already pretty light because I don't ever go out in the sun and if I do I'm wearing sunscreen okay I'm just gonna this isn't gonna work it's leaving little brush strokes all over my face it, those brushes just don't work for me. If I ever do use a brush as um, to put my foundation on, I prefer to use like a like flat kind of buffing brush, like a flat kabuki. But I don't know, the spatula thing is just, I don't understand them. They don't do it for me. So initially it's going on kind of wet and kind of oily, but we saw this happen with the Revlon and it turned out great. So let's see what happens here. I feel like I'm just looking at myself in the mirror because I feel really guilty about this gossiping situation. I'm just like... Okay, so it's for the most part dried down. It is definitely... Can you guys see the light shooting off my face? It's, um... It dries down pretty oily. I don't find this to be a mattifying foundation so far, but sometimes you would be surprised when you powder your face and you bronze and you do all your stuff like that's what happened with the Revlon one that went on an oily mess and then it like dried down a lot and it looked beautiful so what am I doing we're gonna go in with the no filter concealer a lot of people use this and I've heard a lot about it but then I've also heard a lot of people be like but this creases a lot but it's amazing but I'm like how is it amazing because I hate having greasy under eyes so we're gonna see I might have gone a little bit light on this but my foundation is a little light so maybe it'll work out oh yeah I'm not really liking that so first of all this is bright AF so like this <laughs> is like white underneath but like can you see like you can still see all my fine lines I've heard that it's like really thick and full coverage like 
and it's kind of going on a little bit watery like it doesn't look any different it just looks like it's lighter but we're gonna go ahead and highlight the rest of the face it has a little this is a doe foot applicator it's kind of like flat it's a little like bendy now oh, my phone is blowing up okay my face definitely looks a lot paler than it normally would i'm sorry i just everyone <laughs> is pulling out my phone on a bunch of drama and it's my fault does anyone else have an issue with gossiping comment below so i don't feel like as bad of a person let me go grab this brush and we'll try out the loose setting powder maybe blush and bronze up the face a little because i'm looking a little stark white here so i'll be right back This is kind of cute. It says, put me on your face. So this is what I'm going to do. I got this in shade translucent. They have some colored shades as well. But when I'm like setting my concealer and my under eyes, I prefer to use a translucent and not like one with a shade. Because I feel like that can look a little bit cakey. If I want to go like all over my face afterwards with a powder foundation, that's, you know, it's a free country. That's my prerogative. But... I just like to use a nice translucent shade under the eye. I think it helps to brighten it up a little bit, too. Ooh, this powder does feel... It feels soft. It feels nice. It kind of feels like my Cover FX one, which I just ran out of. So I hope that this is a good replacement. I still have my Shishido, which I like, but Cover FX is my favorite right now. The perfect setting powder. I'm out of Diet Coke right now, and I have, like, legitimate anxiety about it. Like, <laughs> I am drinking a lot of coffee instead, and it's not the same, and is anyone else addicted to soda? I am legitimately, like, if I don't have any in the house, I, like, feel a panic in my chest, like, and I just, like, keep imagining the feeling of just the carbonation, like, in my mouth, and... <sighs> I just can't rush till I get some. I might see if my neighbor is planning on going to the grocery store. I'm not planning on leaving my house today because I have a project that's due tomorrow that I have to finish and also start today because I haven't started it. And I'm just going to let that bake sit on my face and we'll see how we feel about the powder. Alright, so this bake has been sitting on my face for a couple minutes. I have addressed my various text messages that are coming in. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the bake off. You guys, I love this KKW brush. I know that when I first got the kit, I said you don't need this brush. And you don't, like, need it. But I use it every single time that I bake or set my under eyes. Like, it is just this little thing is so... That's my cat trying to rip my background off. Say hi, poopy. Um, I love this little thing. I was, like, getting ready at my boyfriend's house with it, and he was like, put your dildo away. Because it does. It looks like, it looks like a vibrator. It kind of looks like a sex toy. We all know it. We can say it. We can be adults. Um, but, so, I don't know, I feel okay about, it's, like, really smooth, really soft on my skin. It's just kind of hard to tell because, like, I didn't like the concealer to begin with, so my under eye is already kind of creasy. So they're like, there wasn't really anything to set because it just went right into my creases. So I was just like baking that. Like, it's not going to change the way that it looks. So, I mean, with the powder seems good. I don't feel like it's super flashbacky. It just doesn't... Is it? Mmm... It might be a flashback. Okay, so maybe if you're doing flash photography, not. But, I mean, for $8, like, if you just want, like, a good, it's a nice, soft setting powder. I feel like this would work good with another concealer because it does feel like my nicer powders that don't settle into fine lines and don't dry my, out my under eye. I think the concealer, I'm just not a huge fan of. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze and blush my face using my hula bronzer like always i need some serious bronzer because this shit is white 
I was really not planning on wearing any makeup today. I am just going to be staying in my apartment and working on a school project. Um, but I was like, oh yeah, I need to test that for you guys. And I think I said I would test it like a few days ago and I just never got around to it. So I, I figured I owed you guys a video. Um, so I apologize for that. So I'll pretty much just be sitting in my house doing homework with full glam makeup on so could be a worse life you know I'm going in with my shimmering skin perfector by Becca in Prosecco pot I really hate the way that my face looks right now um partially because of shade of the foundation not like shade from a tree um yeah I don't I mean, it's really light, it's like creasy, it's, uh, the setting powder is kind of dusty looking, um, I'm kind of maybe not liking it as much, or maybe, maybe a darker shade, maybe, maybe, even though I just said that I don't really like those because they're kind of cakey, um, I'm just really trying to warm this up a little, the foundation did dry down significantly though it is not as oily anymore so we'll do a little wear test while i'm sitting here doing homework by myself i am i also got this ultra matte lip from ColourPop in shade midi it's a nude shade because nudes are my favorite so we're pretty much almost doing a whole face of ColourPop right now all right just set my face, same as I would any other face. MAC Prep and Prime. And then this Morphe Setting Spray, I'm not obsessed with it, but it gets the job done. It smells like hairspray, though, which I don't love. Alright, so I am going to go work on this project for several hours. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Um, I have a dinner tonight, and I want to like take a shower and stuff before that. And probably not wear this foundation to be honest so I'll probably wash it off before then um but yeah I will check in with you guys in a little bit and I'll let you know how this wears and that's it <laughs> all right see you in a few hi guys I'm back checking in with this foundation um I have been doing a <laughs> project on wind power and nuclear fission and just a bunch of biomass fuels just a whole bunch of stuff for the last it is 5 30 now i checked in at like 11 and then i started working on it so been about six and a half hours i feel like i'm on another planet because i've just been alone in my apartment reading scholarly articles for six hours so that feels good um the foundation obviously i haven't had like a super strenuous day i haven't been like sweating or moving around a lot or i haven't gone swimming or done anything strange um <laughs> so like that is not an issue it's it's okay. I mean, it's a $12 foundation. Like, I think there are other drugstore foundations out there that perform better, but I think it kind of performs like how you would expect a drugstore priced foundation to perform. I think from ColourPop, like with their shadows and their concealer, although I didn't like their concealer, like a lot of stuff you're like, oh, it's like drugstore pricing, but it works so well. It kind of has like a similar reputation to like Morphe or Makeup Geek, but I mean, the foundation's new. Maybe they haven't mastered it yet. It's fine. A lot of people, I heard people complaining that it got really oily, like it wasn't matte on them. It definitely is matte on me. Like, it, there's a tiny bit of sheen there, but that's not any different than I would get with any other foundation. It's breaking up a little, like, around here and on my nose, the usual spots where foundation starts to break up. It's still, like, around my cheeks, but it's just, like, it's not super full coverage. Like, I would consider this a medium coverage foundation, which I don't love. Um, I mean, but for a $12 foundation, if you don't need a ton of coverage, like, I think it's fine. I, it's not like, am I like, you need to get this. This is like one of my holy grails. Like, no, I'm not. But for $12, it's okay. Wanted to try it out. ColourPop sometimes surprises people. Sometimes they flop, you know? It's okay. This concealer, however, I... 
I cannot get on board with this concealer. I have just looked like the Crypt Keeper. Under, I have looked like a wrinkly piece of paper underneath my eyes the entire day. So that, I am not here for it. I don't understand. Like, no filter. Can, like, it literally looks like no filter. Like, it looks the same as it did. Or maybe a, slightly worse. The powder... Mm, it's okay. I would have to try it maybe with different concealer and see how I like it because, I mean, obviously if you're setting something you already don't like, all it's going to make do is make the thing you don't like last longer. Like, it's not going to make it look better. So, I don't know about that. I did, it did have a flashback, which I don't love flashbacky powders. I prefer to get the ones that don't flashback, but I mean, it's soft. It's pretty finely milled. It doesn't look dry or cakey. I need to try it out with some different products to know fully how I feel about it. But that's my review. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. I love you all. It means so much to me when you guys watch my videos and comment and like them. And I get to talk to you guys. And then I get to check out your videos. And it's just a grand old time for everyone. So I have a dinner tonight. I was going to wash off my makeup and do it again, but I really just kind of want to turn off my brain for a couple hours after studying alternative energy for the past half a day. So I'm probably going to go watch like dead. No, I'm going to edit this video, but then I'm going to maybe watch some deadliest catch or something, something that I don't have to think about. So that's it. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.